My name is Danica, and today I want to show you my lesbian Pulp Fiction collection. I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour of the ones that I have, and then I'll show you some of them in detail. So of course I have to start with my Satan Was a Lesbian canvas poster. This is in my living room, and it is totally ridiculous, and I love it. These are my shelves of Lesbian Lit Crit and Lesbian Pulp. So there's Lesbian Lit Crit at the top, and I also have these little matchboxes that my mom got got me for Christmas that have little lesbian pulp covers on them. I have no idea where she got them. They're also all double-sided, so they've got different covers on each side, and they actually have matches in them, which is fun. This is my little partial shelf of lesbian pulp I'm still collecting. It's a pretty small collection so far. So starting at the beginning, we have some modern books that are kind of lesbian pulp Esque, the Nancy Clue series, Bobby Blanchard Lesbian Gym Teacher, this Jane Bond parody, and then a couple of books about pulp. This is an address book which has different pulp covers throughout it. The Art of Lesbian Pulp Fiction, and this has excerpts from Lesbian Pulp. And then I have some new reprints of old pulp books, and these are mostly classics that are a little more well known, a little more respected. So these were some of the first first lesbian pulps, and they have the old covers just kind of redone. I've also got this Torchlight to Valhalla, which I have seen in a lesbian pulp format. This is the original hardcover edition. It was pretty rare at the time to get a hardcover release as a lesbian novel. And then we have the actual pulp books, and I'll show you each one of these. So some of these I got at the bookstore that I work at, some when I was traveling, going to other bookstores like The Strand, and a few I ordered online. I'm trying not to order a ton of them online because they are usually rare and quite expensive because pulp was printed to be super cheap and fall apart really quickly. So it's pretty rare that they have survived this long. I'll start with The Loving and the Daring, a compelling novel of secret love. This is the back cover and it says, a taut, sensitively written novel of a strange emotional alliance that introduces a brilliant new fiction talent to American readers in 20-year-old Francois Millet, already a smash hit in France. And at the time there was this idea that in France you had all of these scandalous books being published. So a lot of the lesbian pulp was originally printed in France, at least at the beginning. And then we have Sex Behavior of the Lesbian, a highly authoritative book which reveals the sex life of the lesbian with case histories of the lesbian wife, the butch dyke, the doll dyke, prostitution and homosexuality, lesbian techniques, transvestism, the bisexual lesbian, emotional perversions, and lesbians on the college campus. And on the back it says, the specific purpose of this book is to illuminate a topic too often kept in the dark. Only through a thorough understanding of the causes of female sexual deviations can we hope to understand and help solve this problem. So this was another really common format to say that it's a scientific exploration, that it's a psychologist who's studying these people. It's obviously just a cheap ploy, just meant to be titillating and shocking, but they played it off as if it was a very scientific and serious work. And this is my newest one that I just ordered a couple of days ago because I was linking it in an image description on the Bi and Lesbian Literature Tumblr, and when I clicked on Amazon this was only like 10 bucks, so I had to have it. And it is Voyage from Lesbos, the psychoanalysis of a female homosexual. So this is the same kind of deal. The back looks super weird, like it was printed oddly and like it's trying to be 3D. In the back it's actually super depressing because it talks about this woman who uh, came to the psychologist after a painful breakup with her girlfriend and wanted to relieve severe depression and insomnia that followed the breakup and he convinced her that all of her problems were just because she was gay. So that's horrifying. And then there's Prisoners of Lesbos and this has little France right on the cover, so you know this is the first American printing. It's one of those scandalous French books. And the main character is named Butch. Look at it. The cover folds out and it said, I want to kiss him, moaned the guard. God, G-A-W-D, how I want to kiss him. This might be the most ridiculous looking one so far and I love it. And this is two pulp novels in one, Action Girl and Payment on Demand. And as usual, it just has an amazing cover. This one doesn't totally look like lesbian pulp at first. Love and Orgasm, a revolutionary view of the role of love and sex. But on the back it says, Promiscuity, lesbianism, and homosexuality are having a heyday. The sexual adventurer in the latest hero of popular sex. 
sex manuals. So this is another pseudo psychological book where a famous psychiatrist explores the physical and psychic effects of orgasm as he tells why full orgiastic release is possible only in mature heterosexual love, which I mean, come on, that's not, definitely not scientific. And then we have lesbianism around the world. And I like that it actually just tells you what lesbianism is around the world. So there's the land of the free and easy, Canadian capers, the torrid tropics, the home of homosexuality, Lesbos of the Orient, a study of lesbianism on a universal scale. And one of the ones I actually do want to read is We Too Won't Last by Anne Aldrich. So this is one of the books that was actually written by a lesbian and it's a little more well respected. It actually says Anne Aldrich is probably the best informed lesbian author writing on behalf of a lesbian in the country today. Apparently it's about the end Endless voyage through Lesbos. This is completely coming apart, so I'm gonna have to read this very carefully. And this book came in at my work and I immediately just fell in love with it. And luckily I wasn't the one to price it because I was willing to pay $50 for it, but I think I only got it for 15 or something. And it's all the gay girls. Martha was interested in three things, power, money, and beautiful young women. To the men in her life, she was Martha, a beautiful woman executive, desirable, envied, feared. But to the women in her life, she was Marty, a lesbian whose uncontrollable passions led her in a never ending search for willing girls. And when she met Veronica, her twisted dreams of a lasting love seemed about to come true. But there was only one problem. Veronica's husband. Would Marty allow a male to stand in her way? This is also just in perfect condition. It is pristine. So that's definitely one of my favorites. Also, this is published by Gold Star Books. And this is another one that I'm really excited to read, just from the title, which is My Bisexual Three Years. It's Anne Vale's unique autobiography as told to the best-selling author, Con Sellers. This was at a local bookstore in town that me and my partner were browsing in. I saw it and I I desperately wanted it, but it was $60 and I just couldn't justify it. I was like, am I ever even going to actually read this? Should I be buying a book for $60 just because I love the title, just because it's ridiculous? And then Ron went back and bought it for me for my birthday, so I'm very, very happy with this one. So that's my little collection of actual queer women pulp. It is totally ridiculous. I have written several book riot articles about pulp and why I love it and that I can't really explain why I love it. Like it is ridiculous, it is offensive, it's not well written, but it's just so over the top and the covers especially are so over the top that I just find them the most kitschy, appealing things. I am very, very happy to live in a world where there are not my main sources of stories about people like me, but at the same time they were a lifeline for women in the 50s. They made people realize that there were other women like them in the world World, even if it was done in this heavy-handed way. So they have a big role in queer history and in lesbian literature history, which is my passion. So it makes sense that I'm drawn to them, but they are so ridiculous and I can't wait to have many many more of them. Thank you for watching this video and taking this little tour with me. Let me know if you have any of your own lesbian pulp, if there's any titles especially that I should try to seek out. And thank you for watching.